Hi everyone, my name is Cassandra and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to reduce your exposure to the use of pesticides when selecting your produce. According to a survey done by the Alliance for Food and Farming, 94% of dietitians actually believe that people are scared to consume fruits and vegetables because of the use of pesticides. This significantly is contributing to how little um, Americans are actually consuming fruits and vegetables and it's pretty alarming. However, we can reduce our risk by eating organic, preparing our produce correctly, and educating ourselves on the higher risks of exposure to pesticides. I did an extensive semester-long project last semester um, in my Nutrition for the Life Cycle class on this topic, and I learned quite of alarming facts that I personally didn't know. Um, if you aren't familiar with what pesticides actually are, they're substances or a combination of a couple substances that are used to regulate plants, pests, and nitrogen stability. The first step that you can take to reduce your risk of exposure to pesticides when consuming produce is to actually eat organic products. They have, um, to be considered organic, there are sets of guidelines set by the Department of Agriculture that they have to meet, which one of them is actually, they cannot use specific pesticides that are considered harmful by the USDA. And um, it's actually been found in studies that there are higher proportions of pesticides found in the urine of those who only consume conventional products versus organic. So that does prove that organic has less pesticides in it. However, this shouldn't deter you away from eating conventional. The um, Environmental Protection Agency actually sets their limits of safety a hundred times lower than what has been proven to be safe. So even though you're, if you can't afford eating organically, you shouldn't stop eating fruits and vegetables altogether. Um, you really should eat those products because the safety limits are super low. You can also take several steps to prepare your produce that will actually help reduce your risk of exposure when eating them. Pesticides are sprayed to prevent the spread of disease and bacteria. Um, so during harvi harvest, shipment, and actually when the produce is exposed to light and during preparation, um, residue of pesti pesticides actually decreases during all of those processes. You can take the steps at home by rinsing your produce for at least 30 seconds with water, scrubbing the skin of, say, potatoes if you want to consume the skin. You can also peel the skin away if you are afraid of that type of exposure, but that will actually reduce your nutrient intake when consuming the fruits and vegetables, so that's something I don't suggest. And lastly, you can trim the outer layers of your leafy greens, such as kale or romaine lettuce, because those are really the parts that have been more exposed as opposed to the inside. Even though we are exposed to pesticides when consuming our fruits and vegetables, like I said before, it is a super low risk of getting any type of symptoms. Um, really, the people who are working with pesticides daily are the ones that are have a much higher risk of um, toxicity. So even one exposure as, say, a farmer spraying the pesticides can cause an acute toxicity, which can result in nausea, headaches, irritation of skin. And if we're talking about more long-term chronic toxicity, that's when you get the problems that I feel like I hear when I'm reading articles about pesticides. Most studies done on pesticides exposure are actually done for occupational use. So when you see that they cause cancer, respiratory issues, birth defects, that's actually those who are working with the pesticides as their occupation. So really overall, I wouldn't be scared to eat fruits and vegetables, um, even conventional products, and don't let your scare of pesticides deter you from eating them. It's going to be more harmful in the long run if you don't consume your fruits and vegetables. You won't be getting the nutrients and minerals that you really need um, to have a well-balanced diet.